Good morning, gentlemen. Hyatt Barnes, 103 Cascade Lane, Port Ludlow. A gentleman last week disparaged the Climate Action Committee report. Did you read it? I did. BFCC responsibility is to look out for county residents' interests. Did anyone notice in the CAC report that parallel to carbon footprint reduction, the recommendations all had an energy conservation aspect? Home heating encouraged tax credits for insulation. Transportation increased transit services. By the way, a round trip to Ida Port Townsend or Polico will cost me nine dollars. Uh, maybe encouraging a big box in Port Hadlock, that could reduce out of county shopping. Perhaps a satellite big box between Quilcene and Brennan. Some observed phenomena to drive us out from the opposite ends of the earth. In the Arctic, satellite images in 2008 showed that melting ice opened up both the fabled northwest and northeast passages. The opening of the passages is eagerly awaited by shipping companies who hope to cut thousands of miles off their routes by sailing around the north of Canada and Russia. In the Antarctic, Iceberg B-15, the world's largest recorded iceberg, was calved from the Ross Ice Shelf during March of 2000. The B-15, our Antarctic iceberg, was the world's largest recorded iceberg with an area of over 11,000 square kilometers. It was larger than the island of Jamaica. Now, you can call it global warming, you can call it climate change, you can argue whether it's caused by humans or mother nature, something is going down. I yield the balance of my time. Barnes. Who would like to be uh, next this morning? Gentlemen, gentlemen, please. Who would like to be next this morning?